So I'm going to explain the stimulus and give you guys the exact uh, distribution of breakdown in each one category. Okay. So, start at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, billion stimulus explained. So this is a pie chart of the appropriations, $350 billion in appropriations. So what we've got here is the state fiscal, fiscal fund is $79 billion. It's actually spent over two years, 2009 and 2010. Then we have education, also similar, 2009-2010. I'm not sure I can get down here or not. I'm going to try. Let's see, can we get down a little bit further? I hope you folks can see this. It's transportation and energy and water at the very bottom. Transportation, energy, and water, similar amounts in the 10 to 40 billion range. And then we have rural development, 34 billion. So I should say in the 30 to 50 billion range. Then we have health, uh, 20 billion. Housing and urban. So what's the first impression I had when I saw this? disbelief because in my opinion we need to regulate interest rates and mortgages to stabilize the housing market uh, that'll provide people with a lot of security when they stop worrying about losing their houses of course uh, it's not going to stop entirely but uh, just a simple interest rate regulation with some federal help to lenders that um, were planning on a 12 percent return and had written paper to people uh, where that might uh, kill them to be rate controlled down to 8 or 7 percent. You could um, uh, put some federal money aside for uh, uh, some offset on the um, forcing them down on their interest rates. And I believe interest rates should be across the board to all Americans, even ones with good credit, so that the average person gets about a 25 percent discount on their current mortgage today, regardless of their credit rating. Um, that I think would attack the root of the problem. But it turns out o Obama does have a plan for that. He's going to be using Treasury Secretary Geithner to spearhead the foreclosure and business loan section, which is actually, in my opinion, the vital part. So what is this bill, this stimulus bill? This bill is a, uh, a bill that, first of all, is designed to get our economy back into recovery through a massive amount of federal spending, such as we did in the last New Deal. Um, and um, the uh, government becomes the employer of last resort. And in addition, what we want to do here is we want to have the best social impact possible. So let's see what the specific line items are in these general programs. So my first impression, number one, uh, foreclosure relief isn't here. It's in something that's coming down the pipeline. Don't we need to see the whole package uh, together as one big American business plan to make a decision? Then secondly, uh, we don't see any money for small business, which is a primary and most efficient driver of our economy. 0.43%, this is also staggering. Um, I would make this small business number three quarters of this pie. Um, and then I think you would have a much lower risk of waste and fraud. So I believe we should provide a million dollars from between a hundred thousand a million dollars in bank line of credits to small businesses and lower the bar considerably on access to capital for small businesses. Look at are they an ongoing operation uh, more than uh, as one factor. I have a company that's been running for six years now. That should be sufficient evidence that we're real. Um, we're not horrendously profitable and we don't have horrendously great credit. Uh, so we can't access the conventional markets and we're not building the sexiest new technology so the VCs aren't that excited about a small business. Uh, so uh, I think I'm actually uh, emblematic of a huge amount of America that might not qualify for targeted credits but um, if you put a hundred thousand to a million small business uh, a line of credit to these people they would buy equipment, they would make ads, they would hire people, and this money would probably come back to you at 250 percent in the first year uh, because it goes to the butcher who takes it to the barber, it circulates around. So I was surprised that we didn't see that in this bill. So what are the specific line items in the bill? Okay, 
the specific line items in the bill. Um, so here's another view of the bill. Education, uh, you've got state fiscal fund, which might be heavily affected by unemployment and state finances. And as you read this, you realize that all this stuff does need to be dealt with. State fiscal fund, education, uh, and then he has his plan for the green energy grid down there at Energy and Water, uh, rural development, health, housing, and urban development. I'm very skeptical of HUD funding um, personally. Um, and the rest of it's small enough that we don't need to quibble about it yet. Um, it's not the main point. So now let's go into a more detailed model. Let's see if I can get it for you. Where's the most detailed model we have? Okay. Huh. Here it is. Okay, great. So, let's zip right back up to the top here and look at this. Okay, so here we've got 2009, 2010, 39 billion for Department of Education each year. Highway infrastructure, 30 billion. Transit capital assistance grants, uh, let's see, uh, 6 billion. Amtrak, 800 million, I believe. Um, so we have 43 billion going to transport. There's a picture of the transport situation. Um, as far as, um, let's see, with state, state is very small, so we won't really go into that. Social is very small. Small business is disappointingly small. Science, is not very large either, 3.6 billion. Now rural housing, 18 and 11 building unsubsidized guaranteed loans. We need to hear about that. What is that? Uh, direct loans, rural housing insurance, 4 billion. That's a fair amount of money too. Rural broadband, 2.83 billion. I don't think that's a good idea and I provide rural broadband. I think that you need to use incentives because there's no way for the government to pick the winner. Um, and so you can offer a subsidy for each house perhaps that you provide internet to uh, because we sell internet at a hundred bucks a month that's our uh, via model people wouldn't want to pay that but you can bundle telephone into it and it doesn't really cost you anything more um, so what else have we got here uh, rural business enterprise acts blah 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 34 billion okay oversight make it all more efficient and uh, it's an efficient number 249 million I don't think we can get sarcastic about that compared to 350 billion less than uh, a percent whereas usually audits and oversight are 10 percent of in the bandit belt here we have nutrition it's not a large amount of money uh, labor uh, again not a huge amount of money interior not a huge amount of money now HUD public and Indian housing capital fund five billion Four billion for foreclosure stabilization activities. My fear is that money isn't being used to uh, cap mortgages, but is used to like buy back foreclosed homes that have been abandoned. So it's a horse out of the barn thing. Five billion for public and Indian housing. So uh, we go through all this, and it's a huge ex uh, funding of all of uh, Obama's chief lieutenants, which I'm not against. Um, in that I want to be scientific. Um, but uh, it obviously raises your eyebrow. So what I recommend is the following.